So I think when we hear the readings today, they're all about a special word called temptation. Have you ever heard that word before? Temptation? No, you know what temptation is? It's wanting something that we know isn't the best for us or is wrong. Has anyone here ever been tempted? Not you, huh? Wow, I think, yeah. You know, your mom or dad says, don't do this, or you can't have cookies before supper, and what do you want? The cookies, huh? Right? That's temptation, huh? And the first reading today talked about our original ancestors living in the beautiful Garden of Eden. They just couldn't eat the fruit of one tree. So what did they want? The fruit. And what did they do? How is it their fault? <laughs> it's the devil's fault. The devil made them do it. The devil invited them to do it. And you know what? They accepted his invitation. Huh? And we hear that reading because today in the gospel, we hear Jesus is in kind of a difficult place called the desert. Huh? And I know that Alex and Joe in the front row were with me in that very desert just two weeks ago. And we were looking at the mountain where Jesus spent 40 days. And not a mountain like in New Hampshire with trees and rocks and rivers, a desert mountain, just rocks and dirt. And he didn't what for 40 days? He didn't what? He didn't eat. Can you imagine that? That's kind of difficult, huh? Yes. That would be a very, very hard life, okay? So wait a minute now. So let's think about this. But then the devil comes to tempt him just like he tempted our first parents. And does Jesus give in? I think he took water. You have to drink water, okay? And there's water in the desert from the rain. Yes? Because all of us can fast for 90 days and we still have enough storage on us to keep alive, believe it or not. Huh? Some more than others. I could probably go a year. <laughs> okay, is this question? Yes? Huh? I went to Israel, okay, with a group of people, okay, and I hope you'll go there someday too. But Jesus didn't give in to the devil's temptation. Why? We think about that? Why not? He certainly knew it wasn't right, but Jesus had been building up spiritual strength. Now, if I want to build up physical strength, I can lift what? Lift weights. But how do I build up spiritual strength? Anyone know? Praying. And what was Jesus doing? Fasting. Okay. Praying and fasting. Why? Because if I say no to me, okay, then I build up strength to say yes to God, okay? And I say no to me by saying I want that, but I'm not going to have it. Now, Jesus was kind of extreme in that, but he had a ministry to start, and he had to be very strong to do it. So he had to do that 
in a very, very serious way, not eating anything. But during Lent, and we start that today, 40 days, we are asked to think of things that we want but don't really need and to say no to them, no to me. So what could we give up for Lent? Hershey's chocolate bars, certainly. Those are great, but do we need Hershey's chocolate bars to live? No. We want them, but we don't need them. Anything else you can think of? Hmm? Water, I think we need water, so I wouldn't give up water, but what else could we give up? How many like soda? I think we don't need soda. We like it. What else? Cookies, for sure. What else? Huh? Reese's? Yeah, Reese's. Cake. Ice cream. What? Chocolate chips. Live in a what for 40 days? A tree house for 40 days. Well, if you were in Florida, maybe, but I don't think I'd advise that here, okay? So you know what you could say no to. Now, if I don't like spinach and I say I'm giving it up for Lent, am I doing anything? No. It has to be something I like and something I want. And just the exercise of saying no to that makes me physically, not physically, but spiritually stronger, huh? So here's our little prayer that we're going to say every day in Lent. Ready? Oh God, help me to say no to me so that I can say yes to thee. Can we say that again? Oh God, help me to say no to me so that I can say yes to thee. And isn't that what Jesus did? He said no to the devil no to all those good things the devil wanted to give him because he knew God had something else for him to do. Yes? Huh? The devil is everywhere. So look out, right? Okay, no more questions. Remember the prayer and how many days to say no to me? 40 starting today. You know where you'll end up at the end of 40 days? Holy Thursday. Okay, let's go back to your seats now.